Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to another Daily Market Report brought to you by Mike Bjork. Today is hump day, and it's June, June excuse me, can't get that word out, uh, June 12th. And uh, today's going to be a light day here, so we got no economic news releases scheduled for today. Uh, tomorrow and uh, Friday will be the bigger ones. We got the retail sales coming out. We got the, of course, the weekly jobless claims, and then we also have uh, PPI coming out and consumer sentiment. So, so those will kind of be the market movers uh, for tomorrow and uh, Friday going forward. So right now, uh, kind of most of the things are just kind of, you know, the stock markets uh, start off the morning higher and then uh, just kind of reverse trend. So. What's going on is basically kind of after effect from yesterday, and then there's also a couple, um, you know, stock uh, reportings, uh, whereas uh, Chinese companies looking at buying one of the American companies and the growth uh, tire companies over in Ohio, and then you got some merger acquisitions. But mostly it's from yesterday, kind of repeat of yesterday, where there's concern of possible tapering of the uh, quantum easing, uh, so people kind of worried about that. And you know, basically the whole gist of that is uh, you know Japan's bank not doing anything you know everybody's kind of sitting idle that uh, and then you got Germany with the high courts having the review of uh, what's being done with the purchase buying uh, bond buying in Europe if that's legal or not so it's just creating a little bit of a volatility in the markets right now and so right now we're just kind of competing the bond market and competing with the stock market for dollars right now and with the sell-off on the stock market of course that's helping out the bond market typically that's where they're putting it as it's a flight to safety for them uh, in those regards so speaking of such we'll jump over there right now and kind of look at where the bond market currently is we started off the morning about 25 basis points lower but today we are actually having a bond rollover day uh, which means we kind of take it with a grain of salt so right now I would basically say venture to say we really don't have much difference in pricing from yesterday with the bond rollover so with that in mind I would just uh, be a little cautious today but you know again tomorrow and Friday could be market movers and we're kind of waiting to see if this 100 could hold, if we could kind of bounce up from that or not. Yesterday we had a nice little rally, which was kind of nice. We did touch off the 10-day moving average and came back, pulled back a little bit. Uh, last time we did that was about a week ago. Uh, as you can see, right around June uh, 5th uh, was probably about the last time we kind of did that. So let's uh, hope for the best and uh, see if we can get some... Uh, uh, rally going on here and see if we get some better interest rates. Uh, long term, I do think we'll have uh, better interest rates, but the short term, it's a little volatile right now to determine actually if we've hit bottom yet or if we're uh, looking, we haven't seen a trend reversals or signs of it as of yet. So uh, only that it keeps going downwards. So just be cautious. You guys have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. And tomorrow we'll have uh, more news to view. All right, take care.